we're in the kind of sort of this corner a bit i guess mm. a bit rough and we got aqua turds that one's got a stun launcher darkest gungeon do your best not to miss and have him react eh? right in the throat perfect quite happy with that another one in the fields there with the sonic cannon ove Shabby. Snapshot, 44%. Okay. And a little me. 59%. You're getting quite accurate, little me. Alright, that's for another turn. Would have liked to have killed a couple more, but oh well. Just always nice, especially when fighting like things that just die in one hit. If you can take out a bunch of them really early on, and uh, screw their morale up high straight away. Right. It is a medium. It should be noted. Yeah, snapshot. No line of fire though. Grenade? We could try for a grenade. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Because <laughs> it's only an aquatoid. Nice. Uh oh. Little me panicking. Okay. It's just, it's not a great position for, you know, say, Berserk to happen. Really good accuracy training for the first couple people off the ship. Man. I'd like to get more people involved, but there's not a whole lot of space to maneuver right now. Hmm, shard pistol. Somebody drew the short straw. Uh, Ove with another grenade? If Rogue sets you up with it. Pretty good. Knocked him out at least. Because it's not like I'm even in the corner where I could like hide at the nose of the ship or anything. There's still a bit of map out there. And case in point, this dude is like right there in the corner. Maybe we're okay now. Ooh, Shabby, you're uh You're not feeling too good. 40 bravery, 40 morale left. Oh god, little me. Still 10 bravery, yeah, still taking a little while for you to get back up in order. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Behind the ship seems good, though. I think we get Ove back in. Darkest Gungeon. Sprint you around. Let me go on Berserk, but they have no weapons, so it's fine. Always convenient when they go panic first, drop all their stuff, and then the Berserk rolls start happening. Get everybody down on this far side. We'll get some suits flying overhead to help scout. And generally draw fire if necessary. Little me going for a little bit of a scout yourself. No? Okay. Wouldn't necessarily have minded. Push up with Rogue a bit. I think Ove come back and support Darkest Gungeon. Up 
here actually so auger can come out might just still be a few on this ship there's a lot of doors going on little me still panicking now you're doing some exploration thank you little me <laughs> and yeah i'm trying to keep spread out a lot in case of disruptor pulse launchers that's uh it's apparently a thing on mediums disruptor pulse launchers lots of them so hopefully if one does come in only a few people get turned to dust Auger, I think I'm gonna risk having you just like fly directly into the ship, bash against the wall like a fly to a windshield. And we'll progress afterwards. You. 68%? Oh, shit. Alright. Oh, maybe he shoots up at you. He can probably take out Rogue with like a shot. We'll see. I could go for a couple snapshots with Ovi and Rogue, but I'll pass. I could go for a grenade. Uh, that leaves you with how much? Just enough. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. That's, that's fine. That's okay. Worst case, somebody gets stunned. It's fine. What the hell's going on over there? Oh, and some coral explodes and some dust kicks up next to him. What the hell? <laughs> Where the hell do we land? Huh. <laughs> huh. He hates these cans. That's that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Just I can't I can't hit the guy. Everything around him. Ah oh, man. Yeah, so we just got Jason left with his grenade. Uh, oh, really? Come on, Rogue. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Almost, you know, go for an auto fire for funsies. All right. A fine try. Ove with an aimed shot, 40%. Oh shit, nice, well done. I didn't think he'd have the angle, actually. I thought the uh, coral would be blocking it. Fine, little me, how you doing? Not great, okay. Waiting for a door to open, Disruptor Pulse Launcher to come screaming out. What is this layout? Oh, it's... It's, okay, and there's stairs here, and yeah, there's a third level to you, though? I'm not sure I've ever been up there. Wait, you saw one? Oh, you saw one. Rogue! Huh. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Ove? Huh. From here? Ah, oh, so close. And what was blocking you? Bit of everything. What if you're standing? Yeah, still a still a good bit. All right. And we can't like harpoon throw the uh, stun rod over. That'd be great. I'd like that. Some some stun javelins. Maybe some javelins with ZR bite coated tips. Oh, yeah. I'd use it. You think I'm joking? I'm dead fucking serious. 
This dude just had a stun launcher? Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. No line of fire. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Because we're, like, basically immune to stun without armor, so it's kind of whatever. He's not even trying it, though. Thank you, Shabby. And Cape, yo? Up on the rooftop. Mm hmm. It's a nice scouting position up here. So now I know there's one really far away, but there's still one outside the ship. I, I don't know if we actually have a proper shot with you or not. 92%. Got him. Some shot in the darkness. Well done, Capio. We're on the next turn. I just, like, move people up and stuff. But that's it. Uh... Yeah, sure. So with him down, we check out this little area real fast just to make sure. Shabby can do that. But I think we're okay to head in. With Auger, the dude with like a Gauss Gatling gun, basically. And it's a fancy interior. I like it. I do like it. Kia! I love, I love it. Oh, I wanna, I wanna poke a lobster man with that. Mm. I will continue moving people up before we head in. Oh, squad leader's panicking next turn. Medic panicking. Navigator is still up and at him though. Who might you be? The medic. Cool. Don't know what a medic does for me. I'll happily take it though. I think it's just info on some live alien. Or alien type or ranking or something. Auger says it's looking kind of clear in there. We'll see. There's at least two aliens left. One of them a squad leader, may or may not be armed, and the navigator, which has the psi capabilities. ET, can you make that run? You can. And that can lead... It doesn't have those... It's missing the sparkles to indicate that the elevator goes up, not down. It currently looks like a down elevator, but it certainly doesn't go down. Minor tile set... Oddity, I suppose. Right, we'll see how that goes. I don't have a great feeling about it, but with all the doors opening... Technician panicking. No, Augur, what are you doing? I wanted him to... You don't have a stun rod anyway. Here, friend, take this. I know. It's heavy as hell. <laughs> Ugh. I was gonna see if I could, like, diagonally stun him. Oh, well. Oh, right there. Burn. Burn? Oh, balls. 
crap. Okay. Well, you're stuck there now. That's a technician, I think? No. Or is there technician around the corner? Also this guy, who knocked himself out and not us. Okay, no, Pedro's knocked out too. And E.T. Alright, it didn't look like it at first. <laughs> it looked like we just soaked it. Uh, that would've been great. Alright, well, clog up the elevator still. Did he drop his weapon, do we know? It seems like he did. Nah. We will empty out your time units so you don't react. I'd like to stun as much as I can. Like, it's kind of a mix of like, oh, maybe it's another rank that I haven't researched and don't have any of yet. You never know. And also a mix of a bit of cool points. Wow, Augur. Augur, no. No. Ah, Augur, why? Hey, hey, hey. Ah, well. I think that was just the navigator, right? And you're just the technician or so. What was that? Oh, the squad leader. He's like, it's a bit fun to me. Oh, you don't even have a rod. It's a bit fun to me just like stunning stuff and seeing, you know. What do you get? It's like a it's like a kind of fucked up kinder egg thing, I don't know. Augur's still losing his fucking mind. So maybe that wasn't a navigator, or maybe there were two navigators. Well, he's out of ammo now. Oh. That's highly awkward. Bot content mode activated. Enemies are visible on the minimap. Oh, it just straight up fucking tells you. I'm a dumbass. Okay. I missed that before. Alright. 72 plastics, 40 ZR byte, some learning arrays, construction, ion beam accelerators, and a bit of stat ups as well. A couple squad leaders, a technician, a medic, and a navigator. Nice. Keep all of those. Because they teach me... Oh, they also unlock molecular control. Really? Oh. Oh. Okay. See what I mean? Like, I had no fucking idea. Technician just teaches us, like, a free, a free fun ship thing. The medic. Interrogated medic. We've already got one, though. So that's fine. We've already done that. And the navigator, we've already done. So we didn't need we didn't need them at all. So we can sell those. Although they they do give you they give you fun things. I don't know. Eh, they give you fun things. The navigator though genuinely don't need. Technician is at least a ship. Squad leader unlocks molecular control and gives a mission type for free. So fine. And the Octoid Corpses turns into the... That's enhanced. Ugh. Uh. Octoid Corpse. Autopsy. The dissection. The standard one. Two electronics per. So okay. Fine. And the rest of that we, we keep. I'm fine with that. 
Gauss Rifle Clubs, and Magna Blast Grenades. Okay, I'll do what I can. Barracuda standing by. Whoa, as we skirt the edge. On an intercept with Barracuda 1. Fascinating. Not with the Triton. I can't really easily give it the slip. I also don't think I can... It's gonna beat me home then. Run! <laughs> the Triton's got to get home. I'm surprised it uh, it engaged at all so early. I wasn't hundred percent sure there'd even be a uh, another fighter craft available. Evasive maneuvers. Ah! Oh, fucking flattened. Like no chance at all. All right, but I wanted to pull him away because I didn't want him to then like engage with the Triton. So the pilot of the Barracuda may or may not actually be dead. There is a chance that they just like swim back to base. It's a chance. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out in some time if they're actually dead or not. Um... I'll make a cormorant with two gauss doodads and try that out, I suppose. And see, because they can have two cannons on them nowadays. Laboratories at USA is done. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, okay, so research base, 75 of it. Not a whole lot, but a bit. I would also like... How much living space do we have here? Oh, a bunch, okay. So yeah, we'll do another laboratory and pick up 75 scientists. Well, let me sell a few things first, because we got a lot of money sitting here. Cannons and rifles and all sorts of stuff. That I think is already enough money. Seventy-five. And they'll help a lot with research. The fighter craft it's just kind of out and exploring a bit, it'll eventually just land, and then technically if you've got a fast enough ship, or you're close enough to their base, you could send the Barracuda out, aggro one, return to base, and it will just do this. And... Yeah, I'm not doing that one also. You can now do the mission, if you would like. It's landed, not destroyed, so you get all the resources. They don't have a whole lot on them, but it is a bit of plastics and uh, whatever alien is there all aliens. It works. Very small, shallow, north. It's fine. Oh yeah, that was a small that I shot down. I think we ignore that. Whoa. Okay. That's a bit harder to ignore. That, I believe, is a second alien base going down. Good luck. <clears throat> I'm not doing it, you kidding me? Fuck out of here, I don't have the technology for it. No base sighted. Surely they're working on it, though. They must be. Ecliptics, you're back, you see? He made it back to Asia. He's not gone. He made it. He got shot down and swam back home. Welcome back, Ecliptics. 
And Asia's sub pen is done, so we can still make a, uh, a proper ship if needed. One day, 13 hours on the Cormorant still. Five days on the bio lab. And this is going goodly. All right. And the USA scientists are here. Fantastic. So I'm going to have you help out researching the new fighter flying sub. I need to also get the Poseidon. Ugh. Ugh. Asia's Cormorant is done. We will switch that back over to another Gauss cannon to get that happening. And then we need to do a bit more ammo, I think. I'm not sure how much, but some, generally. Medium Northwest. Okay, they're doing some more resource rating and stuff up in one of these two areas. He was going kind of fast. I feel like he was doing something here and we just caught it late. My score this month will probably be uh, be negative. Gauss cannon's done. Good, good. No. <laughs> ammo, which I think I already did some ammo, right? Yeah, I already did the. I already did that. But hey, couple of Gauss cannons. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. Two cannons that changes things up. New fire flying sub is done. There's the more. Um, a bit more speed, a bit more acceleration, a bit more fuel, the same weapon pods, one cannon, two torpedoes, still the one pilot, damage capacity 120, 180. So it's a little tankier. And we'll switch then this research over to Poseidon. Poseidon. And that will be... that'll be a little bit. That might be a couple days. And then when you're done with the Gauss cannon ammo, the spare, we can then make the, uh, the Poseidon, the upgraded Triton. A large... Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about all this. Okay, that's that. So now, the more. We need a bit more aquaplastics, which it's going to require us to switch some things around. I could build it also here, I suppose. Um, we'll build it here, though. The med bay is done in one day, by the way. Bionic Lab, two days. How much space? Not so terrible, actually. Oh. Naga corpses take up space and aquatoid corpses. What? What? When did they... Wait, no. Naga corpses just didn't. Man, okay. That must have been a bug. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Transform over to USA. Ah, fucking corpses. Aliens. Octoid corpse, Naga corpse. Get it out of ye. Is that enough already? It totally was. Wow. Okay. Manufacture. Oh, right. I need to make room for aquaplastics, right? So we need a little more space. Wait. 